Has His Majesty the King, King Charles III, actually been given, shall we say, well, a state of leave? Let's just be kind. As ever, let me explain. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join me today. Hope you're keeping well. It's interesting, isn't it, with His Majesty the King. Uh, King Charles, of course, has not exactly had, as we come up to a year uh, for his coronation, the best of years. I mean, you know, we all feel terribly sorry for him, what he's going through. And as I often say here on the show, let's not forget about the people around him. Of course, uh, Queen Camilla, very difficult for her. You know, she's having to undertake a lot more duties on behalf of His Majesty the King. And then, as you could see the other day his royal highness the prince of wales prince william he sort of does look shell shocked doesn't he i think he's now literally hit him you know he certainly looks like he's lost a little bit of weight so a lot of sympathy and of course a lot of good wishes to his majesty the king and of course the immediate family but it's interesting how people decide to spin certain stories you see over on channel four as you know they recently tried to make a debacle about um the duke of york prince andrew remember that thing prince andrew the musical and we told you how it wouldn't work you know because you can't sell a program like that it's as simple as that now of course channel 4 who are literally in free fall with their advertising revenue and ratings it is an all-time low so much so they're now selling their uh, headquarters in horse ferry road in london the iconic channel 4 building because well they can't afford to keep it up the woman still in charge of course has made all those decisions and still retains the job incredible isn't it now though they've decided Decided to, shall we say, rest their alleged comedy series, The Windsors, been running for quite a few years now and starred Harry Enfield alongside the late Hayden Gwen, a wonderful actress and a wonderful lady, in fact, very, very talented. And apparently Camilla did quite like the characterization that Hayden did. Now, what's the true story? Have they really decided as a mark of respect to move the show away? No. What the true story is, is it costs too much money. You know, to film something like that, you do need a lot of production values and it simply was not sellable around the world. That is the bigger problem for Channel 4. So while they may put the spin on the fact that they're being respectful at this time, because of course, the Princess of Wales, Catherine, along with her health issues, and of course, His Majesty the King, battling his health issues, well, they decided it wouldn't be the right time to continue making a comedy about senior members of the British monarchy. All very nice, all very sweet, and maybe the actors fell for it. The true story is there's simply no money. If they were making money, they'd plough ahead. But all thanks to the chief of Channel 4, Alex Mahoon, well, simply the money's not rolling in. And that's the only reason to make television. She knows that, and now you do too. Neil Sean in the very heart of Yorkshire.